I do the a, the uh, open up strange pathways, but the biggest one that I have really, really stepped into so much now is the nervous system. I make sure that my clients are doing some kind of either neurofeedback, vagus nerve retraining, something to deal with the trauma that has happened to their immune system. Because so many of the clients I'm working with have become sensitive or overreactive, anxious. So as I work with these people, the nervous system has become a huge key component that I talk about at the very start. So it's get yourself into a safe environment. Make sure your body knows it's safe. Make sure you're doing anti-inflammatory lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And then it's start getting out the, the organisms kind of by size. I mean, it's not always that way. 70% of the time I find parasites first if they have them. But then it goes bacteria, mycoplasma, mold, metal, radioactive elements. And what type of biofeedback program are you recommending? Is it something that patients can get on their own? Is it something that you've been trained in? How does that look and how do you incorporate that? So the biofeedback that I've used is just the testing side. I don't uh, recommend necessarily going and, and doing treatments on it. Not that you couldn't. There are people that do those types of things. Uh, but I just have a friend with a machine. And, and if somebody wants a biofeedback reading that can add to our information, I'll have them go ahead and go over to his office and do that or send something to his office because I do so much telemeds because I'm working with people all around the world. Um, they'll just send a, a sample of, like I said, saliva, uh, fingernail or hair. And then he can use his machine and scan it and let us know what he's dealing with. It's more of the testing. Some of the countries that I work with, it's really very difficult to get uh, organic acid tests or blood testing. They just don't have those resources. Right. And so let's say their neurofeedback testing is, is off. What's now the treatment to kind of get their nervous system so they feel safe and kind of more relaxed and steady? So we, we've said two things. You said biofeedback, which is sending the sample. Neurofeedback is different. This is a sound, light, and color therapy. And it is actually, the test is a QEEG. So it's a, a cap that you put on the head. Okay, got and it. And that cap reads the electrical frequencies in the brain. So it tells me what your brain waves are actually doing. Right. And then- So uh, how are you I doing do, that? Is that in your office? That is in my office. Or I'll refer people. I've used clinics in London. I've used clinics in- Spain, I mean, California. So you'll just look for like a neurofeedback in that area mm-hmm. and essentially, yeah, like lights count, light sounds, colors, and then essentially it, it creates a different what sound if you kind of get into more parasympathetic state. So it's actually reading your brain waves. So it's delta, yeah. beta, alpha. And if they're too high in energy or too low in energy, it's going to uh, read that and then it's going to create a plan to bring you up. And then while you're going through the plan, it will actually be reading your brain. And if you, it's like the carrot on the end of the stick, honestly, if your brain energy is too high and we want to bring you down, it will turn the TV screen off and the sound off when you're too high. So your brain's like, wait, what, what's going on? What's happening? And then Got it. when it drops back down to the lower level, it'll let you watch TV again. So, you know, we, we don't put anything that's, that'll make you jump on TV while we're doing it. So it's like blue planet and you're sitting there watching an interesting part and you're just like, oh, this is great. And then it shuts it off because your brain went too high of energy. And then it drops back down. So it teaches you to bring that energy level down. But how I'm using it's a little bit different. That's the main type of neurofeedback, what we just described. What yeah. I'm doing is actually called disentrainment neurofeedback. So I'm using it to disentrain. So it actually opens up the amygdala, which is a part of your brain mm-hmm. that is usually the part that will protect you from traumatic situations. So it blocks your memory. It blocks your ability to remember whatever happened. So if you were at war and you had a bomb drop in front of you and that traumatized you, then you don't, you come back and you don't remember why, but when fireworks go off, you drop to the floor, you freak out, you get scared, you have anxiety, you don't sleep. So then what we do is we do disentrainment. So it actually takes the amygdala and it kind of shuts that off and allows you to remember. And now that you're back home and you're in a safe place, you can go, okay, that, that happened to me when I was at war, but I'm safe here at home now. I'm okay. That firework is not the same thing. And you can resolve that so that your subconscious isn't battling your conscious. And then now that can let your fight or flight come down because you're not in constant. What, what happened to me in the past? I know something happened to me in the past, but I don't know what it was, is which is where nervous system gets stuck. The same know, thing happens. EMDR and, and EMDR and EFT and tapping stuff, isn't that kind of similar in how it's kind of decreasing some of that subconscious type of trauma within the nervous system as well? I do recommend both of those at times, uh, but neither one have I seen make the massive changes where I've had somebody come to my clinic, they'll fly in. I, I've got somebody here right now from Ohio, I walked right by her to, to do this podcast. And uh, she's done both of those, EMDR and EFT, and they're both phenomenal. Uh, but 
what I've seen from neurofeedback disentrainment, specifically the disentrainment part, is people will come out of my clinic and they'll have a 20, 30, 50% reduction in their sensitivity or their, their body's fight or flight state just by doing 10 sessions. And they do those 10 sessions from like they start at Monday, Monday morning, they do a brain map and then they do two sessions and they do two sessions a day for five days. So they're done and within the work week, they're done. They go back home. And they'll get somewhere between 20 and 50% reduction in their fight or flight state, which allows me to be able to do so much more work, so much more faster with them because their body isn't so reactive to the detoxes or the supplements. Their body is able to calm down, which also allows their immune system to function better, their energy system to be able to produce better. It's so incredible.